tutorial, we will see how to use your graphics, titles, and AE Paint with Relens. We will be using to lat long and from lat long specifically for these examples. Let's start with titles and credits. Because you don't know where the viewer actually looks at, a common practice is to repeat such elements multiple times so no matter where you turn, there it is. The way you would set that up is to start with the center title and then just duplicate it twice and put one at minus 120 and one at zero and then a third at plus 120. Now when we make a new comp and add from that long, which will simulate what it would look like in the 360 viewer, we can see that as we rotate, we will always see a title. This is how we would do a title or credits if you want to be able to see them as the viewer gets rotated. Let's switch to Premiere for a second as it almost works the same except for the initial settings. Our sequence ratio needs to be 2 to 1 aspect ratio since we will use relens to that long. I made the resolution for my sequence 2048 by 1024. The footage that I'm using for this example is 2172 by 1448, and it was shot with a 180 degree lens. I can drop it into my project and add relens to lat long. Since it's only 180 degree fisheye, only half of the 360 is covered. We need to take certain steps. Inside the effect controls, we can set the output size to set to sequence size. We can make sure the field of view is set to 180 since I mentioned that this footage was shot with a 180 degree lens. Also, we need to make sure the projection method is fisheye equisolid to lat long, as it's what the lens is. Next, we need to go to view mode and select set circle over source. This is so we can make sure the radius is set to the edge of our image and, if necessary, centered. Note, make sure the relens to lat long is selected in order to see the outline of the radius edge. We can adjust the radius until the outline fits the image at around 0.33. Note, due to a bug in Premiere, if you change the sequence settings after applying the effect, Premiere draws the overlay planes incorrectly over. We track that and revert to draw in pixels instead and turn off the on-screen interaction. Thus, we recommend to change sequence settings before applying the effect. Since it's not going to happen all the time, the following also resets everything properly, any of these. Save project and restart Premiere, copy and paste the second version of the effect and delete the first one, or duplicate sequence and delete the original one. Now we can jump back into After Effects. You will notice that with a 180 degree field of view, there is quite a bit of area that doesn't have any image coverage. We can camouflage that with some text or a graphic of some sort. We need to add two lat long to each additional element we use. In this case, the text and graphic are flat, so we choose the flat to lat long for, for the projection method and set output size to set to comp size. We can adjust the position with the latitude longitude sliders. Now if we want to see how this will look in the 360 viewer, we can make a new comp with this comp and add the from lat long plugin. Since we only see a small window to the 360 view at one time, you can see if we navigate around you'll see all the elements we created. If we step it up to use a 280 degree lens, we'll definitely have more coverage. Let's see that with our next example. This one was shot with a 280 degree fisheye lens. We add to lat long and set the projection method to fisheye equisolid to lat long and change the view mode to set circle over source again. We adjust the radius slider like we did in Premiere Pro, but we need to make this field of view 280 and then we'll add the motion graphics. The title can be a flat logo with an alpha or any text generator type of graphic. We can use the flat to lat long option for the projection method again because this is a flat logo and set output size to set to comp size. We can adjust the position with the latitude longitude sliders. Keep in mind 
that when someone's viewing this in a 360 viewer, they'll only see the graphic if they rotate the viewing window to where your graphic is. So if you want them to see your logo or text, for sure, you might want to duplicate the graphic or text and put it in multiple places, like we saw in the first example. Using a logo also comes in handy instead of a full rectangular image to cover the holes that are left empty so we're not covering any useful pixels. You always want to verify your framing by going to from that long and checking that you have not cut off anything important. You would go back to your to that long comp to make any changes in size or position using the latitude, longitude, and focal length sliders to adjust the vertical horizontal position and relative size. Note, make sure lat long is comp size 2 to 1 and from lat long comp is 16 by 9. Also, make the from and to lat long plugin set to output to comp size. Just to recap a little here. First, we had footage that was shot with a 180 degree lens and you saw that we needed to fill a lot of unused space because it only covers 180 degrees out of the 360. Next, we saw that 280 degrees covers more space, obviously, and is only leaving two little holes, so it's more forgiving. The bottom line is that the smaller the field of view of the lens, the less space the image will cover. This is where you can add things to camouflage the empty space like we did with the ReLens logo. Just FYI, due to the way that most 360 viewers sampled the image, the resolution is best by the center horizon line. So if you have important information to read, that would be a good place to put it. In this next example, we'll use AE Paint with from lat long and to lat long. I will demonstrate the workflow to paint on the projected image. First, I have my original image, which happens to be 5940 by 2970. So that's the size of my comp. I added from lat long and set the output to comp size, and the projection is lat long to rectilinear. I changed the longitude and the latitude so the tower is front and center. I make sure my brush and paint windows are visible and select the paint tool to use AE Paint. Then I can double click on the image or in the menu to paint on that layer and go ahead and paint out the clock. Okay, now the fun begins. I add the original image in again and move it to the bottom. Turn off relens from that long. Check the paint on transparent box and add relens to that long to my original image after paint. I can change the settings now on to that long. I make the projection method flat to lat long. Make sure the latitude matches the latitude on from lat long. We will make the longitude the opposite though. Since it's minus 82.5 and to lat long, we make it plus 82.5. I make sure the set output size is set to comp size. Okay, now the painted out clock should be projected on our background layer, just like magic. 